everybody. First, Muhammad Sharaf is you. Our subject today is to talk about um, uh, cooling towers. But uh, we have made uh, many, many of cooling towers models. But um, this is a general model, all in one model. It's about uh, cross flow cooling towers, mechanical, counter flow cooling towers, mechanical, and natural draft uh, cooling towers. But uh, cross flow uh, mechanical cooling towers, it's our main uh, subject today. It's our main subject today. Okay, you have to go to your destination folder, okay, all in one, and double clicking here, okay, and, and you can see. As you can see here, this is your uh, model. Okay. For cross flow cooling towers, you have to deal with eight types of cooling towers. Okay. For counter flow, we have only two. And for natural draft, it's only one general model. Okay. For uh, counter, for cross flow cooling towers, uh, first of all, you can uh, double clicking here. But first of all, you have to uh, check these buttons for model browsers go for view and select uh, a model browser and check all of this okay okay double clicking here you can select between uh, three main categories cross flow counter and natural draft i'm going today our subject is just only uh, cross flow cooling towers let's go for cross flow cooling towers hit apply and hit okay okay this our uh, subjects okay uh, one two three cross flow is the first one for closed flow only, we have here eight types, eight types, um, okay, with different categories of uh, uh, mass flow rates, okay. Okay, so suppose I'm going to choose one of these as a demonstration or as a, a demo example, okay. Hit double clicking or on this, you have to double click of one of these in order to log in uh, your sub menu and this is your inputs menu and uh, in order to change your inputs and parameters what you um, that you are going to address or to change or, uh, or to address uh, its effects okay um, we as, what we have here we have the operating conditions tab we have inlet air temperature inlet water temperature and we have um, mass flow rate and as uh, the, the type of cross flow selection we have general tfc h h2 uh, with different working fluid pnd zdl type so it's eight, eight different types suppose i'm going for uh, number two as an example so be aware of uh, that the, the range of uh, flow working fluid okay it's from six tumble hour up to uh, 300 tumble hours so if you are going to change, this is um, mass flow rate, mass flow rate uh, change wheel. So you have to working between from six uh, up to three hundred. Suppose I'm going for uh, fifty. Okay, hit apply. And this, these are uh, draft losses and uh, uh, cooling tower effectiveness. Suppose I'm going for zero point four efficiency. And this is the total demand of uh, water for it. Suppose you need a system for to cool down uh, 3,000 meter cube per hour. Okay. Okay. That's it. Okay. Okay. This, these are um, inputs. We adjusted everything. This is outlet temperature. Okay. Let's go for uh, cooling tower number two. This is general. To, because we we already selected, uh, um, I have to check. Okay, yes, se select number two and hit apply. If you check any other of instead of number two, you will you will not find any any uh, solution. Okay. Okay, just let's go for number two and hit run. You can run your model as you can see here. This is the whole model. Okay, let's emphasize a little bit. And we are going to keep watch uh, our energy results and design results. Let's hit run and see uh, what we can do about that. As you can see here, okay, okay. Based on our um, our selected selected inputs, uh, our outlet temperature 
is going to be uh, 38.6 with pump temperature is around 27 uh, outlet air temperature 34.9 approach is 11 range is 7 heat loss heat gain makeup water condensed evaporative losses uh, down losses total losses and we have here design what is the mass flow rate it's around uh, 53 meter cube per hour uh, weight is 3000 uh, tower height tower lens uh, water bomb uh, power pumping power for water uh, and we have here pressure losses uh, fan power is 2.5 kilowatt uh, electricity fan diameter okay okay uh, how many units you are going to use? Let's go outside. We are going to use 60 units, 60 units for uh, in order to cool down 3,000 meter cube per hour uh, under the, the condition of uh, under condition of 50 meter cube per hour per each unit. Okay. So we can change this. We can change this. I'm going here. You can. Suppose I'm going for uh, dynamic modeling. I, I would like to change uh, instantaneously and watch the change at once. Uh, you have to check here your simulation time. You can write here infinity INF. And first of all, you can uh, double clicking or any stream you would like to check and select you have to uh, check this uh, this small square because this is a visualized signal okay let's go for our model now our model is set uh, to work under dynamic system okay it's ready for dynamic system okay okay now uh, suppose I'm going to to um, perform our dynamic system on these streams outlet temperature output bubble temperature what is the change on these parameters so you have to double clicking or each stream and select uh, a streaming signal i already have done this before therefore i have to double clicking and select it again stream signals or you can select here and go for this square and select stream select it to data inspector okay okay now I prepared our model for dynamic system. Let's realize the changes. If we change the input parameter with time, with respect to time, I have to go here and prepare saving and hit run. Okay. Let's see, let's see our changes. Okay. I will change the inlet air temperature. I'm going for, uh, suppose I, I would like to decrease inlet air temperature down to uh, 25 okay 6 26 25 okay 25 increasing the elite hot water temperature up to uh, uh, 50 degrees Celsius as you can see here the changing in approach as you can see changing in approach and water cooling range it's it's uh, it depends on your design what which design you would like to prefer which most efficient one you would like to change and so on Let's go for uh, cooling, um, let's go for uh, mass flow rate. I'm going to increase up to 300s, 300s, uh, 100s, okay. And you can watch the uh, effect on design or, um, okay. I'm going for 100, 200s, up to 200s, okay. I'm sure my computer is a little bit, the change is, is too slow. Depending on your computer, it needs a powerful computer to do this. Anyway, up to uh, I have to wait a little bit. Okay, changing our changes are made. Okay, let's go for no more than 300s. Okay, take care of this because this is your limitation. Okay, I am going to change the efficiency of uh, the cooling tower. Suppose I'm going to increase the efficiency and keep watching on the approach and the cooling range. As you can see here, increasing the efficiency, I'm going for up to 0.7 and watch. 
what's going on with the approach and uh, the cooling water range as you can see here uh, increasing increase the efficiency would increase um, uh, the cooling water uh, range but decreasing the cooling water approach uh, okay continue continue uh, controlling controlling as you can see here there's some kind of changes in uh, uh, in our um, design parameters mass flow rate is decreasing uh, cooling flow rate water flow rate would, would decrease mass flow rate and the design the, the weight of uh, uh, of the cooling tower and the height as you can see here I'm decreasing decreasing changing the height changing the lens and so on enough for this let us stop after taking our effects okay let's hit stop uh, f in order to um, collect your, your outputs based on dynamic system you you have to uh, click on this uh, uh, some um, data inspector uh, results you can click here and you can watch your results here as you can see here let's go and see our results I think this is um, fan power this is fan power changing according to the change of uh, mass flow rate this is air mass flow rate changing based on efficiency uh, water flow rate and so on this is tower height tower height changing because I increased I, I increased and decreased the mass flow rate tower lens okay uh, pressure losses uh, changing outlet water temperature based on efficiency mass flow rate uh, air and uh, air temperature and uh, inlet, uh, outlet water temperature with bulb temperature changing evaporative losses okay blow down losses and we can uh, also uh, check for total losses yes and uh, outlet air temperature changing cooling tower approach yes it's based on your design so you can um, select the best option for you and you can go for and inspect what is the effect of uh, cooling tower input parameters on the design limits what is the lens what is the uh, height what is the, uh, the fan power let's go for fan power i think yes fan fan power yes this is this is fan power okay uh, and let's go for uh, um tower range this tower range heat loss by by water and heat gain by air and okay could does it make make up water and so on you can make another run you can make another run and uh your output will be drawn out on the same figure for each parameter you have you have selected so you can compare you can compare runs and you can compare um, this is very important and you can compare uh, your uh, outputs output data you, uh, you would like to deal uh, this is our um, subject today uh, is uh, is to talk about uh, cross flow just cross flow i'm i've just selected this one for as a demo as a demo you can select what you, you have uh, 18 units for at, the, at this point you can select here from cross flow you can select you between eight types you know, it depends upon you you would like to uh, which category you are go, going to work working or deal with in flow rate from six up to 700 from 90 up to 1000 it's up to you as a designer you can uh, choose between the total uh, flow rate you would like to uh, select Drift losses, which which value? This is uh, I designed this based on 0.15 uh, percent uh, percent of uh, drift losses. It's up to you. It's from 0.1 percent up to 0.2 uh, percent. And uh, we have uh, efficiency of the cooling tower. It can control some uh, 
design parameters. So if you are going to uh, design your um, cross flow cooling tower based on most efficient one, you have to increase this. You have to increase this this parameter up to um, uh, your desired value or your design value, and you have to take care of these uh, also these parameters because these are very very important. Inlet air temperature and uh, inlet hot water temperature. You can draw many many. Um, uh, runs on the same figure of that inspector and you can compare and you can uh, optimize your outputs um, that's enough today for uh, cross flow cooling towers um, uh, our next subject would be um, uh, uh, counter flow cooling towers natural draft we have done before this one so thank you very much for watching i, ho I hope that you enjoy our um, Model today, uh, our model, um, same link model for uh, cross flow mechanical cooling towers. Don't forget to like, share, uh, subscribe. Thank you very much.